Hello students. In this video, we will derive an expression for angle between radius vector and tangent to the curve. So let us consider a polar curve. So this is a polar curve whose equation is given by r is equal to f of theta. Consider a point P r comma theta on the polar curve. So if P is r comma theta then this point P this is the radius vector r and this angle is called as the polar angle theta. Drop the tangent at the point P. It makes an angle xi with the x axis. So first we will explain about what the figure is drawn. So consider a polar curve. R is equal to f of theta. Also, let P be let P r comma theta be a point on curve. Then, so this is the origin P. OP is equal to R. Then the angle XOP is equal to theta which is called as the polar angle. Then we have drawn the tangent to that curve at P. Draw the tangent at P. Makes an angle xi with positive x axis. It makes an angle xi with the positive x axis. So here let me take the angle between radius vector and the tangent as phi. So let phi be the angle between radius vector and tangent to curve. To curve. From the geometry, we know that the exterior angle is equal to sum of interior angle. So here, xi is an exterior angle. It is equal to sum of theta plus phi which are the interior angles. So, xi is given by sum of theta plus phi. So, take tan on both sides. Tan of xi is equal to tan of theta plus phi. By using tan of a plus b formula, it is tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan A into tan B. So, tan xi is tan theta plus tan phi divided by 1 minus tan theta plus tan theta into tan phi. So, this is equation number 1. Now, considering the relation between Cartesian form and the polar form, we know that the relation between Cartesian form and polar form is given by x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. And also from the geometry, we know that the dy by dx is equal to tan of xi. So here we will find the derivative of these parametric equations and equate that with the tan xi. So differentiating with respect to theta, it is dx by d theta is equal to. So, r as it is, the derivative of cos is minus sin theta 
plus cos theta as it is, the derivative of r is given by dr by dt. Similarly, here the derivative of y with respect to theta, dy by d theta, differentiate this using the product rule, r as it is, derivative of sin is cos theta plus sin theta as it is, derivative of r is given by dr by d theta. From geometry, we know that So here the dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta which is r cos theta plus sin theta dr by d theta this divided by let me write the positive quantity first here cos theta dr by d theta minus r sin theta. Dividing this equation by cos theta dr by d theta. So we will get for the first term cos theta of cos theta get cancelled. We have r d theta by dr plus here sin by cos will be tan. It is tan of theta the dr by d theta and dr by d theta get cancelled. This is the same term. So 1 minus. Again sin by cos is tan theta. Tan of theta. And this is r as it is. r d theta by dr. We know that. The dy by dx. Is nothing but tan of z. It is equal to the slope of the tangent. So already we have calculated tan of z. So take this as equation number 2. So this dy by dx is equivalent to the equation number 1. So go for equating 1 and 2. So equation number 1 is tan theta plus tan phi tan of theta plus tan phi divided by 1 minus tan theta into tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr plus tan theta divided by 1 minus tan theta into r d theta by dr. Comparing these two equations, we get tan of phi, tan of phi is equal to r d theta by d. So, this is an expression for angle between radius vector and tangent to any curve. This equation also we can write it as Cot of phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta. Thanks for watching.